we go. Hope that's better. I don't know what's going on with the internet <laughs> connection. Okay, so five is Kiana from Holistic Harmony um, Ink and Holistic Harmony Oils, and I'm excited to be going live. I've been chronicling my detox well not really detox but um slim down challenge i am facilitating slim down coaching intensive with my team and i decided to talk about it every day during lunchtime just to um just to hold myself accountable let you know what i'm doing you guys have been encouraging me to stay strong inside of it um it's also encourages people in my group to stay strong inside of the group so we're we're doing Doing some things. I've been really happy. I feel really, really good. So I'm gonna try to wait a few more seconds, see if some people um, jump on, and then we're gonna talk about what this uh, particular live is about. It's about service, being of service, and how does that um, equate to the cleanse? How does that how does that go hand in hand with that? So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Today. So I just give it a few more seconds. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I really am. I had so much fun um, this weekend. I was able to go live at the American Diabetes Association and walk people around the expo that they had that was going on the end. Um, I was really happy to see a lot of people come out and enjoy that. But I know that if more people know about it, they will come because it's very important for us to take care of our health. So I volunteer there with my um, women's organization. And I'm the president of Women Unshaken. We all we volunteer with ADA Expo and help people um, at Expo. So just to get more information out. Hey, I see we have some people that chimed in. I'm just talking about my weekend. So um, this past week has been amazing. I went through healing crisis. Um, I had some anger come up, some sadness come up, and I really had to deal with those things things like food and so it looked very different i had to really diffuse my oils use my roller balls that i made um sit inside of my meditation and my breath you know really do the work and so this week i released some weight and i'm really excited about it and i just feel really really good so i want to talk about today what does service have to do with cleansing what how is that connected what's the connection well, one of the things that I know is that on this earth, all humans are here to serve in some capacity. We all are given gifts um, to utilize and serve other people, serve this world, serve, you know, animals. It could be whatever gifts that come in all different ranges, right? So I serve um, women and I serve youth. Youth is really, really a big component of my servitude. So, hey, Tracy, thanks for joining so service for me, um, I fought it because I didn't want to be a service to, to youth. I was like, I don't want to be a service to youth. But they, I, I attract youth. They love me. They, um, I've always worked with them. I started working with youth when I was 13. My first job was a tutor for a second grade classroom over a summer school. So since 13 years old, I've been working with kids. So, so service just looks like you sharing your gifts with the world. So how does that equate with cleansing? It's real simple. When we are stingy with our gifts, we hold on to that. We hold on to weight. We hold on to toxins. We want. We can't release that. You have to serve. You have to be of service. You have to share your gifts. You have to know it. Know that you are a gift, and you have to share yourself freely. So you have to find something, some type of cause that's bigger than you, and go out there and serve. Because one of the things I find is that. When we don't be of service, we look at we go inward with our problems, and our problems just seem catastrophic. They just seem so big, like oh my goodness, I have this going on, this going on. We need to serve in the midst of whatever's going on in your life. You are helping someone else, and you will see that your problems no longer exist. I'm not even kidding you. They no longer exist because you're focused on something else outside of you, bigger than you helping serving. So that's why it's very, very connected to cleansing and being to release weight. If you holding and being stingy and stuff and you hold it tight, guess what? You're going to hold on to all them pounds that you want to get rid of, okay? So don't be stingy with your gifts. Whatever it is, 
especially if you have a calling for young people, okay? Because they need us very much right now. They're very, very angry and sad and disappointed in how the world is working right now. So we need to really be um, advocates for them. So if you know that women is your calling or men is your calling, I know a lot of people, a couple of coaches I work with, sexual abuse is their calling. So whatever it is, you know, there's a place out here for you to serve. Okay, I'm bringing a group of people, donating. I do a book bag drive every year with my same team. We're not shaking. We give away 100 book bags. This year, we want to do 1,000 book bags, okay, for the youth. So if you want to come bring me some pencils or reach out to one of us and say, hey, I got a bag of folders, you know, like, that's being a start. I'm doing something even when you have something else going on and watch the pound drop off. Watch your problems dissipate because you no longer, your problems just don't seem so minuscule that they just gone, poof, they gonna be gone, okay? So, be a service, share your gifts, and watch great things and blessings come to you. That's been our power hour, five minute lunch break. I love you guys. Oh, I'm almost back. So, <laughs> I released seven pounds this week. So I'm really excited about that. Everyone inside the group have lost between six and six and a half pounds so far that um, have weighed in this morning. So we're really excited. And we know it's because we're nurturing ourselves inside of the group. I just got a comment. Please point out. Yes. So my sis just said, please point out how self-sacrifice is also a part of service. Your time, your talent, etc. Exactly. Our time is our most precious, precious gift um, to be able to give somebody time. And your talent, definitely. Whatever your gift is that you're good at doing, you could be teaching somebody how to do that. You could be helping somebody out, lending an ear, talking to somebody. Just being present is a gift, right? That's why we call the present a gift. It's a gift. That's why we call it the present. So, definitely. So, we're doing really great inside the intensive. Everybody is like, like eating really great. I'm about to dig into some baked green tomatoes that I, I just uh, pulled out of the oven. I cannot wait. Um, we're doing really good. So, it's been fun. It's been interactive. We are um, thinking about doing it again next month because it's already been so powerful for everybody that's taking part inside of the group. So, that's it. We're doing great. Give service uh, to your to yourself, to your community, all the good stuff. Um, check me out tomorrow. We'll be talking about day nine, and I'll be starting the actual cleanse. No food, no chewing, no nothing um, for five days. So that <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. So see you guys tomorrow. Peace.